Thank you so much, Paul. Now, the winter storm is also impacting other parts of the Maritimes at this hour as well. For the details on this Monday storm, we're joined now by CTV meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell. Kaylin, what is the latest? Yeah, Crystal, let's start off with where the snow has eased and where it continues to fall down at some rates of around one to two centimeters an hour. So the snow has become much lighter across much of the southwest of Nova Scotia, starting now to get lighter and around the Halifax area, where it will continue to become lighter over the next couple of hours. Now, snow Snowfall rate still of around one to two centimeters an hour, though, continuing up towards Truro and areas of Colchester County, and then into parts of Pictou, Antigonish County, and some areas of Cape Breton. This is all associated with the low pressure system that is moving just to the south and east of Nova Scotia. Good track for a heavier snow event for that province because it wraps in moisture around that low, but it also keeps the colder air in place because we don't get into the south and southeast winds on the eastern side of that weather system. We don't see as much in the way of mixing of ice pellets or rain. So taking a look at where we stand with some snowfall reports so far. These are initial and preliminary. A lot of these reports coming in from earlier this morning and for areas where snow was continuing to fall and accumulating at that point. And you can see in around the Halifax area though some reports of 15 to 21 centimeters of snow, 18 centimeters of snow at Mahone Bay and some areas in the east of Nova Scotia approaching 10 centimeters or more with, as I mentioned, that snow still coming down and accumulating at a fairly good pace. So additional snowfall amounts to come with this weather system as we continue to move through this afternoon and into this evening. You can see around one to five centimeters for parts of the valley, around the Halifax area, up towards Truro, and the potential of five to 10 centimeters moving into Picto, Antigonish County, across the Canso Causeway, into areas of Richmond, Sydney, and Cape Breton County. Because of the snow continuing to fall and continuing to collect, we still have snowfall warnings in effect, basically running from Lunenburg County up into Pictou, Antigonish County, and into those locations in Cape Breton. In those snowfall warnings, Environment Canada calling for some totals between 15 and 20 centimeters. Though as we saw crystal, there are likely to be some communities that finish, finish just above that 20 centimeter mark. Mm -hmm, lots of snow. Well, we'll check in with you in a little while to get the full forecast.